In this video, we're going to investigate how the force of gravity can be used to give us information about an orbit. In this particular problem, I'd like to uh, calculate the orbital speed for the Hubble telescope. As it uh, goes around orbit around the Earth, I'm going to assume a circular orbit. It's not circular, but let's assume it is circular. And it's uh, 350 miles on average above the surface of the Earth. That's important. You need to think about that. This number is what you could call the altitude. It's the uh, distance above the surface of the Earth. And I looked up the mass of the Hubble telescope. It's about 11,110 kilograms, uh, 24,500 pounds, just to give you an indication this is a big satellite, um, notable satellite. So we have the force of gravity given to us by Newton. Uh, G, capital G, is the constant of gravitation. M1 and M2 are the two masses that are attracting each other. And R squared in the denominator, R is the distance from the center of one object to the center of the other object, from the center of the Earth to the center of the Hubble telescope. This uh, does assume we're dealing with spherical objects, but it's a very minor correction. Uh, the Hubble telescope is not a ball. Uh, it's oblong. Um, so we're going to ignore that and just go from center to center. Then the centripetal force formula, the centripetal force is equal to the mass of the orbiting object times the speed squared divided by the radius. Uh, again, the center to center distance uh, for our object. So uh, the centripetal force is not a basic force. It's always created by something, whether it's gravity or the electrical force or uh, tension in a string that we're uh, twirling something around our head. So I can uh, do a substitution here. I'm going to go replace the centripetal force with GMM over R squared. So I'll write that out, G, and I'm going to put mass of the Earth, mass of the Hubble telescope over R squared equals mass of the Hubble telescope and speed squared over R. And you can see that this was extraneous information, the mass of the Hubble telescope. And this conversion kilograms to pounds, that's on the surface of the Earth. Um, minor point, but uh, when we do use mass of the Earth, we'll be using that in kilograms, not in pounds, kilograms. Then uh, one factor of the R value also cancels off. So you can see we're uh, getting pretty close to our answer. Speed squared is the calculation over here. And I'll put in the numbers that I've uh, looked up previously when we get to that point. But first, we need to investigate this 350 miles. Is this equal to R, if I convert it to meters? But is should this be used for R? Well, if we have the Earth here, and this is not to scale, and we have the Hubble telescope out here, 350 meters, that's our height above the surface of the Earth. We need the total distance to the center of the Earth. So the R value is the radius of the Earth, 6.38 times 10 to the 6 meters, plus 350 miles. Well, you can see there's a problem adding meters and miles. We're going to have to do a conversion. So we're going to convert the miles into meters. So times 1609 meters for one mile. And I get 6.38 times 10 to the 6 meters plus 5.63 times 10 to the 5th meters. You should double check me on this. Do this calculation on your own calculator. And I get a um, R value then of 6.94 times 10 to the 6. The Hubble telescope um, orbit is about one-tenth of the radius of the Earth above the surface of the Earth. 10 to the 5th here, 10 to the 6th here. Uh, but th this is the R number we need to use. We have to add in the uh, radius of the planet if you're given the altitude, the uh, distance of the orbit above the surface of the planet. So let's go ahead and uh, compute here. I'm going to take a square root of both sides. We have V squared. We want V. So I'll go ahead and write the square root. The capital G number is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 in the standard metric units. 
and we need to put in the mass of the Earth, 5.97 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. And then we're ready to put in the value for the radius, 6.94 times 10 to the 6. Uh, my 10 didn't come out very good. 10 to the 6 meters. That is our speed. So you should pause the video and plug these numbers into your calculator. Multiply the top, divide by the number on the bottom, then take a square root of that result. And welcome back. Hopefully you did pause and calculate. So I get 7.57 times 10 to the third meters per second is the value for uh, for V. And just, I didn't do this ahead of time, but I'm going to convert this into miles per hour. So 7.57 times 10 to the third meters per second. Our conversion factor is um, one mile per hour is 0 0.447 meters per second. So I have to uh, turn on my calculator here and do 7.57 10 to the third divided by 0.447 and I'm coming up with uh, around 16,900 miles per hour. That's orbital speed for uh, something in orbit around the Earth. So we use the uh, principle here, the law of gravity, the uh, general expression for centripetal force. We realize that uh, gravity is creating the centripetal force so we can uh, substitute for the F sub C using the law of gravity and then we are careful to make R the distance from the center of one object to the center of the other object and finally come up with a uh, speed of about 16,900 miles per hour. Um, if you would like to investigate these videos a little further they're uh, listed and annotated at two websites astronomy.gpclements.com and physics.gpclements.com and ask your instructor if you uh, have questions.